Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. Today we're going to be doing a little spring decorating. So I don't know if y'all know, but a few weeks ago, South Louisiana had this crazy freeze that we are not used to. And it actually turned a lot of my landscaping brown. Like I know it's not the most awful thing in the world, but I've really put a lot of time into my landscaping these past few years. And so just to see it all turn brown, especially when the weather's been so amazing around here, which is super upsetting. And this weekend, we took the whole weekend to just cut all the dead stuff off and it just looks absolutely awful. Good news is it looks like a lot of it will grow back. It's just gonna be ugly for a little while. So to make myself feel better, I decided to head to Walmart and just peruse the aisles of Walmart like I do sometimes and see what I can find to kind of freshen up some of my other outdoor spaces to make me feel better until the landscaping started to grow back and be beautiful and green again. Now, um, I went to Walmart because every other store is like an hour away. So if you want like home decor items on a whim, Walmart is pretty much your only option around here. So I am so sorry because most of the items I'm going to be showing you that I purchased are not available online. It's part of the Walmart's spring collection and you can only get it in store. This, this video is not sponsored by Walmart, but it should be. <laughs> I am really loving the stuff that they put out for spring. It's not like me to go buy all this stuff. I kind of have like my standard stuff that I leave out, but you know, I was feeling kind of low. I needed a little shopping spree to lift my spirits. So let me show y'all what was like the inspiration for the color palette that I went with. I love this wreath so much. And I was kind of on the fence about buying it because like I said, I have my standard stuff that I put out every year. I have lots of doors, so I kind of have um, wreaths that I put on all my doors. I have a set that I use for fall and winter and then I have a set that I use for spring and summer. But when I saw this wreath, I had to have it and it just changed everything. It was just downhill after that. I had to have everything to go with this wreath. So look how beautiful it is. It says hello. It has eucalyptus leaves. It has these beautiful peaches, these bright orange flowers. I love absolutely everything about this wreath. So like I said, this was the catalyst for the rest of the design. It's going to be springish, but also I feel like it can bring me into summer. And the main area that I decorate is the outside of my outside kitchen, which is a very like long flat area. So if you have one of these areas, maybe this video will kind of help you figure out um, how to decorate the space. So let me explain what my outside kitchen is because I know it's called different things in different areas of the country. So it is a separate building from my house and inside we have a full, catch, full kitchen, a dining area and a living area and a half bath. It is where we spend probably just as much time as we do in our house. It's where I film. It is where I work. We just spend lots of time in this area. I love decorating out there, especially for Christmas and I put lots of trees and it's absolutely beautiful and it just always feels sparse the rest of the year and I never quite know what to do with it. So like I said, I just went all out. I had fun. I bought what I wanted and I think the space looks great. Now I'm not a big fan of like putting fake flowers outside but this area is such a high heat area like that's why i'm not filming in front of the building right now because it gets sun 24 7. so i ended up buying some fake floral at walmart and then i ended up also going to our local nursery which is called marvin gardens <laughs> isn't that funny if you play monopoly you know but it's actually called marvin gardens and they actually ended up having a lot of stuff i wasn't sure because it's a little bit early in the season so I ended up mixing real flowers with fake flowers and I kind of don't mind the way that it looks. So I think I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to have the pressure of constantly keeping everything alive, especially in this very 
high heat area, you know, in South Louisiana, it'll easily get to 100 degrees over the summer. So the fake plants will kind of help make everything look good when my real plants aren't looking so hot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take y'all on the tourist space. My plan was to like do this cute video of me filming and putting everything together, but the weather ain't cooperating today. It was supposed to be like a nice cloudy day. No, the sun is out. The sun is shining. And I remember, if y'all remember the last time I tried to film outside, I swear, nobody in my neighborhood went to work that day. They all drove around in their cars. They're loud, squeaky cars in front of my house. It was awful. So I'm going to wait for like the perfect time and the perfect lighting and just kind of take y'all through everything. A lot of stuff I made. It was thrifted or it was from Walmart. That's pretty much um, the options, but I love the way it came out. So I hope y'all do as well. So when you look at the space, you're gonna notice that I use several of the same colors throughout the space. And that really just makes the space feel more cohesive. So I have this beautiful blue color on my door that is the same color as on my shutters. And then I carry that over to the planters. This is a color that I custom mix myself. I knew I wanted like a bluish gray color so I just mixed a few colors together so I got the perfect shade and then I went and color matched it at Sherwin-Williams and then the stucco color is Sherwin-Williams natural linen I will see if I can find a picture of what this space looked like before when we first purchased the home and then you see how I've carried that peach color throughout on all the wood, I put that Waverly Antiquing Wax mixture on it. That way all the wood has the same tone to it. So taking, you don't have to go with all kind of different colors. You can kind of like just pick a few colors that you like and just sprinkle it throughout the space and that just makes the whole place feel cohesive. This bench and this sign stays out year round. I purchased this bench from Wayfair and I painted it the same color as my stucco and this is just a sign that I made that has held up great. I made it the same way I make all my signs. This sign is also a good seller for me. I've made plenty of them for other people. And then these pillows, these are pillows that stay out year round. They, I got them on clearance from Home Depot. They're two-sided and so just depending on the season is what side I go with. I decided to go with white and then I found these beautiful peach outdoor pillow covers from Amazon that match perfectly with the peaches on my wreath. I believe they were $11.99 and I'll put a link to them. They did not come with the inserts but I just got cheap outdoor pillows from Walmart to put in them. This area I have a little grouping of items. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to cut a hole in the ceramic pot, so I had to put fake plants in it. But I was able to put one here. I absolutely love this plant. Um, it's a high heat plant, so I'm able to keep it alive. And these two pieces I just got from the spring collection at Walmart. Of course, my daughter has already broken this little piece here, but I just wanted to get a few items from their spring collection once again to tie into the wreath that was my inspiration here. Now on this side of the bench, I just put this plant. I've been able to keep it alive for a few years. It blooms a beautiful pink color. And do y'all remember this bench from my thrift haul video? I think it was maybe two or three weeks ago. I ended up keeping it. It looks so perfect right here, but let me show y'all what I did. I put some plywood on the inside to create like a little cubby. So I was able to put some really cute fake floral. This floral is from Walmart and I think it just looks so perfectly right here. In front of the front door I decided just to put a plain mat. I believe this one is from Target and then I created this beautiful sign with our address on it. I have it covered up because you know stranger danger and then right below it I this is probably my favorite little area. I purchased this rabbit from Walmart. This is how it came, like this kind of wood tone color, and I think I'm gonna keep it this way. This is a terracotta pot that I added some of my stucco paint color to and just kind of distressed off so that way it would go all together. 
and this is another good plant that should take high heat so I think I'll be able to keep it alive I have this little wooden container with just some full greenery in it and then y'all look at this lavender okay the nursery told me this is a high heat plant and I should be able to keep it alive I love it so much I'm thinking about putting it by my mailbox but it's a little expensive so I have to think about it because I'm gonna need a lot of it and it smells so good I really felt like I needed to put something over this window. So in the floral section at Walmart, they have these little wreaths there, $11, I believe. And I think just because it was a smaller size, it kind of worked right here. And then I just cut up some drop cloth to hang it from. And I think it looks good even having a wreath right here. And then this planter, I actually made this myself to custom fit this window. These are some of the plants that did not make it through the frost, but um, my nursery is going to be getting some more in. So as soon as they do, I'm going to replant these. And then over here, do y'all remember? I asked y'all what I should do with this. I keep it out at Christmas time. So I took it back out and I'm going to turn it into a planter. Now, this was the plant I was going to put in it, but I think it's too tall. So I'm going to go with something lower here and I'm going to keep this out year round. And then these three planters are something that I've thrifted and I have the same little plant that I have in the other one. And these look so cute. They kind of like come out. They're going to be like kind of viney and pretty once they start growing. So it's just a mix of new items, thrifted items, handmade items just to make the perfect look for this outdoor area. I feel like it's so warm and cozy and inviting now. We do spend a lot of time out here because it faces the driveway where the kids like to play. Now I want to show y'all my actual front entryway to my house. This is not something that I really change up for the seasons. I kind of just keep it the way it is. But I want to show it to y'all because I feel like it's a space that some people struggle with, especially if you have an entryway kind of like I do. But I just treat it like an outside foyer, basically. I just treat it like I would any other room in the house. I always get lots of compliments on my entryway. So I'm going to go show y'all what I did to the actual front of my house. The only unfortunate thing about this area is you can only see it if you actually come up to my house. It's kind of hard to see from the road and that's why I enjoy decorating the outside kitchen area so much because that you can really see from the road. So let's go ahead and take a look at my entryway. Right now when you walk up to my house, it, it kind of looks like Death Valley, but normally it's this beautiful green walkway leading up to my front doors. And I love this estate sale mat. I mean, the estate mat. It is from Target and it's about $25. And I usually order myself a new one every year because I really like how it looks in my space. And then when you walk up to the right, I have this very slim, small entryway table that I've just decorated with different plants and thrifted finds or things that I've made. I'm pretty sure I thrifted this little brass candle. I mean this little brass crab in um, one of my videos and also this terracotta pot. And then these are some bricks that um, I found at um, a house they were tearing down in town and I just made them over. I really love those. Those were a good seller. I also made this sign right here. And above this little entryway table, I have this huge mirror that I thrifted. It just looks so good in the space. And it also is also a great space to come check your makeup or tweeze your eyebrows because the lighting here is so perfect. And then I have my front doors here. I usually leave my magnolia wreaths on my front door all year long but I don't know I just wanted to kind of change it up so I tried that smaller wreath that I hung over my windows and I thought it looked good here they're a little bit smaller for these doors but I think it looks okay like I feel like it kind of brightened up the space a little bit and then my favorite part of my entryway is also these brick floors that I didn't even mention I love these bricks right here 
The plant I had in this pot did not make it through the freeze, so I just added some of the Walmart greenery to it. And then to your left when you walk up, I have this cute little bistro table that is from Walmart. No, I'm sorry, not from Walmart. I purchased it from Target, but it's no longer something that is in stock I checked. I purchased it quite a few years ago. And I felt like it needed a little bit of wood added to it. So I just had this piece of wood that I thrifted. I put a bird on top and some greenery. And I think it looks like a super cute little seating area. These are some more plants that did not make it through the freeze. But I'm actually thinking about making some custom wooden boxes to fit the space here. Like I did um, in front of the other window and add some plants to it and I think that will look better than these. So I'm gonna figure this space out. But I really feel like I did the most of this very awkward area they have. I don't know what this originally was planned for when they built the home, but I feel like I did what I could with this space and I think it's a great entryway into our house and really ties into the decor that I have in my home. So what do y'all think? Do y'all like it? Did I do a good job? Did y'all find this video helpful? I know I mostly do like thrift stores and thrift flips, but I also do a lot of decorating. And I like to show y'all how I use some of these thrifted items into my decor. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I hope y'all are inspired to go decorate y'all houses for spring. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching and give this video a big